guys, my name is Srijan and this is my channel Metal for Life. Today I'm going to discuss a very good song by a band called Three Days Grace. And this is their recent single released on their YouTube channel. And the name of the song is The Mountain. So let's see what kind of tuning in this song. The, the whole song is in drop D tuning. So whether you are using an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar, you should tune your guitar to a drop D tuning. That is a standard tuning with the lower string which is the 6th string you have to match with the 4th string or you can drop it to D if you are using any kind of digital tuner then it will be very easy for you to tune otherwise those who don't have any kind of digital tuner I would like to recommend you I am just playing the 6th string so just tune up to that and let's get started with me so here you go the 1st string So it should sound like this. So let's see what kind of riffs are getting played in this song. So the intro riff kind of sounds like this. So what I'm playing, I'm basically playing a D minor chord, fraction of D minor chord. So Put your ring finger on 3rd string 7th fret and put your index finger on 2nd string 5th fret and play from 4th four, four string opening then 3rd string then 2nd string so the first time playing with this shape maintain this shape then when I first time I'm playing put your pinky on the 2nd string 8th fret so and play from 4th string to 1st string I mean 4th string to 2nd string ok so 4th, 3rd th and 2nd string so then remove your pinky from 2nd string 8th fret to and put your middle finger on 2nd string 6th fret so and play so it should be sound like this then two time mute with your right hand palm and stroke the initial set shape which is ring finger on 3rd string 7th fret and your index finger on 2nd string 5th fret ok so play from 4th string like this two time palm muting so then play that shape but this time not muting this shape okay. then put your middle finger on 2nd string 6th fret again and play so then again 2 time mute then again play the same thing so the whole pattern should slowly sound like this Play this whole pattern for two times. So and one off beat, then sorry. Then the main rip kicks in so let's see so the main rip kind of sounds like this so this is basically I'm playing a pedal note of 6 string open, which is D note so I'm playing 
on hammering on from um, 6 string 7 fret to 6 string 8 fret so so open open pick 6 string 7 fret hammer on to 6 string 8 fret then again open so then the pattern sounds like this then open 7th 8th same pattern hammer on ok from uh, 7th fret to 8th fret so then the next pattern so this is the whole pattern so it sounds like this slowly Okay, so slower. This almost played like three times, like this. when the fourth time I am playing this thing I am not playing the whole portion instead of playing the whole portion playing the first portion like then I am playing so this is basically I am playing play pick with your index finger uh, fourth string first fret then fourth string open then play fifth string first fret then fifth string open then play sixth string fifth fret 16 third fret, 16 first fret. So, okay. So the whole thing slowly sounds like this. Once again. After the main riff, there is a gap, then this riff kicks in. So, so this is basically the inversion of the previous riff, but I am playing in a mute way. So, so instead of playing like this, playing the initial portion, the part of the main riff, like this, with my right hand finger thumb, I'm muting the string, so, play the exact same note, which is 5th string 1st fret, then 5th string open, sorry, 4th string 1st fret, then 4th string open, then 5th string 1st fret, then 5th string open, then 6th string 5th fret, then 6th string 3rd fret, then 6th string 1st fret, so, it should sound like this. Without a gap play, same riff, the initial riff, so, but with a little twist, and the twist is just listen. We don't going to give any kind of gap after this. So, so you understand, I think. And that so there is no gap after this trick. So then the next portion instead of it should sound like uh, it should be played like so. Ok, 
Okay, so then two time open and hammer on from a pick, sorry, pick from 16 7 fret to 16 16 7 fret, then hammer on to 16 8 fret. So then open, then again open. Then hammer on from uh, sorry pick 16 7 fret, then hammer on to 16 8 fret. Again pick 16 7 fret and hammer on to 8 fret. So then instead of playing, you have to play. So instead of playing this. Play for the second time, not for the first time. So up to second time, it should sound like this. Then the third time, it should sound like the first one. So, but the next portion will not be played. Okay. That there is a gap, then again the, then again the chorus rip, uh, pre chorus rip kicks in. So, so this is basically the third riff. So, if you have any kind of problem uh, regarding playing this riff. I would like to suggest you that just listen to the song three to four times, then just follow with my lesson and compare it with the song, then you will clearly understand what I am trying to say. So let's move on to the next riff. So then comes the pre-chorus riff which is the next riff and it kind of sounds like this. Basically what I am playing, I am playing first the intro portion of the, sorry the main root portion that is this portion, then playing am. So playing the D power chord basically, I am putting my index finger on 3rd string 2nd fret and playing 6, 4, 6, 5, 4 and sometimes the 3rd string also. Basically, I'm all the time not playing the third string. I'm basically playing six, five, and four string open. So two two time stroke, then a gap, then so slowly it should sound like this. So four times you have to uh, play for two times the D chord, D power chord, and with a gap. So. You have to mute that portion, it shouldn't ring. So when the gap is coming, you should shouldn't ring the string, you should mute with your left hand this finger. So and also your right hand palm. So then after the fourth fourth time you play, you have to just chuck one time like this. Just mute with your left hand finger and just chuck with your right hand so after completing the uh, four time the D power chord for two time you just chug it and again play for two times then you have to pick with your index finger 6, 5, 4 string 10th fret and play it for two times then play uh, six. Uh, I mean uh, eight fret, eight. Fret. Okay, so two time for tenth fret, which is this is C chord basically, C power chord. Then B, sorry B flat. So then this portion comes. 
drums. That is basically I am playing A to B flat, part one. So this is seventh fret and this is eighth fret. Like, okay, it's very easy. So, so let me slowly show the whole portion and. So here it goes. So guys, the chorus it kind of sounds like this. some power chords. I'm playing first. This is B flat or put your index finger on 6th fifth, 4th string, 8th fret. Play it for 4 times. Then 7th fret, same string, same position for 4 times. Then 5th fret, both 3 strings. Okay, and play it for almost 4 times. Then play the third fret same string and instead of playing it four times play it two times then hammer on from like this from second fret to third fret like this second third second play the power chord okay this is F this is E so E F E so the whole thing should sound like this. So, D flat, A, D, F, E, F, E. Okay. Then again play the D. Then, in this time, when the off uh, comes, where the strings are not playing, you should start like this. So, like this. Okay, so, so two times I'm playing D string for two times. So, like this. So, D, so D, D, chap. Then play 10th fret, same string, and 8th fret, same string, like 6, 5, and 4. So, and when you are playing also here, just chuck. No, so the last portion there is no chuck, there is a ring. So, so the whole pattern should sound like this. Okay, so then the main rip kicks in and this time it's not played for three times, it's played for one time. Like When the playing for second times, uh, the, the initial rip kicks in. So the main rip in this portion sounds like this. So so this is the first time. Then and so from chorus to the main riff sounds like this. solo portion the G is played for 8 times F, uh, F is played for 8 times and 
the D sharp power chord is played for 14 times then I open D okay so it should sound like this Instead of playing open, you have to play the D sharp power chord for uh, the six, uh, 16 times. Okay. So, this is basically the riffs which are played on the solo section. And after that, this riff kicks in up again the intro riff. chorus riff played after the this riff and it played in a, a little different manner so it played like this sorry it played like this so both time I'm not playing it for four time it for two time and then playing again kicks in so okay so this is basically going on and the song ends in so this is basically the fraction of the uh, um, the main riff okay so this is Basically, in this portion, after the solo portion, the main difference is the pre chorus riff. It plays instead of playing like. Okay, so instead of playing like this, it played like this. So. comment down below I will definitely try to help you and also if you are already subscribed then please share this video so that I can get more views then I'll put more videos in my channel and also those who are new to this channel I would like to suggest you just uh, press the like button and in down below there is a red subscribe button please subscribe uh, hit that subscribe button uh, so that whenever I upload a new video you get the notification and see you guys see you for the next time